my friends, I am Gal Zira and I am bringing you a 50 minute power yoga and core workout. This is not a beginner workout, so if you are brand new to exercise or to yoga, please see one of my more beginner friendly videos. If you've done some yoga, you want a good challenge, this is a no equipment, body weight only yoga flow with a lot of strengthening um, for the whole body, particularly the core, abdominals, low back, glutes. So grab your mat, grab some water, work at your own pace. This is a voiceover video. I just wanted to flow through. This was my workout for the day. So I will offer very few modifications, um, but please, anything that causes you pain, you need to modify, back off. So keep yourself safe. This is, again, for more intermediate to advanced, people that have done yoga and want a good challenge. Let's get started. Let's get started with some shoulder rolls. Just loosen up. Take some deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, push them down. Align your posture. Inhale, lift the arms again. Standing nice and tall. Exhale, push them down. Inhale, lift the arms. Deep breathing. Exhale, push them down. Inhale, halfway up. And hold the arms. Come up onto your toes and back down. Keep your shoulder blades pulled back and downwards. Open the chest. Work on your balance. Exhale, twist to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Stay in the range of motion that is pain-free. We're just warming up. Inhale, arch the back, exhale, round forward. Inhale, arch, open the chest, exhale, round forward, stretch the back. Again, get a nice stretch through here. Come to the front of your mat, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold from the hips, swan dive forward, coming down. We're gonna work on the hamstrings, bend and straighten each knee. This was first thing about 5.30 in the morning for me. I was pretty stiff out of bed. So we'll warm up those muscles. It's okay if your hands can't touch the ground. Inhale, look up, flat back, exhale, step back. Tighten your stomach. We're going to bring the right foot up to the right hand. Right hand up and twist. If this is too much, leave the hand down. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Let's switch sides, right foot back, left foot comes up towards the left hand, and then rotate, lift the left hand to the ceiling. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Great rotation for the back, opening the chest, warming up the hips. Replace the hand, feet together. We're gonna do five tricep push-ups. Bend at the elbows, have them graze your ribs. Try to keep the trunk in a straight line. If five is too many, do three. You can also modify by putting your knees down. Good, we're gonna do some mountain climbers. Go at your own pace. You're keeping your weight over your hands, hands under shoulders, and you're alternating knee raises. Bring one knee into the chest and repeat. You can slow this way down if you need to. This will wake up your core. Now we're gonna twist diagonal, opposite knee to opposite shoulder. Keep it going, get the blood flowing, wake up those muscles. Happy 5.30 a.m. Good, let's come down and then up into up dog, or low cobra or high cobra, catch your breath. Those mountain climbers get the blood flowing. Dig the toes in, pull back into downward facing dog. Bend and straighten the knees a little bit if you want to continue to loosen up.
Good. Look up. Bring the right foot forward. Inhale, come up into a lunge. Once you get centered, bring the arms overhead. We're holding for 10 breaths. So this isn't a back bend yet. We are just holding normal spinal posture, deep breathing in and out through the nose, working on balance. If it's too much with the arms overhead, you can keep them with the hands in front of the chest in prayer posture if you need to. Your feet should be about hip distance apart, so not on a balance beam. Have a little width between them. Make sure that front knee tracks over your toes. It doesn't come in beyond your big toe. I pulled the arms down and then bring the hands down to the mat, feet together, inhale, look up. Exhale, fold, and then inhale, round all the way up, shoulders back. We will do the other side. Inhale, lift the arms, exhale, fold forward. Nice deep breathing, inhale, look up, exhale, legs back. We have our five push-ups again, my friends. I'm doing tricep push-ups. If you want to have the elbows wide, you can do chest push-ups. It just depends on which muscle group you are targeting more. In either case, try to keep your back as straight as you can, knees down to modify. Another set of mountain climbers because I am crazy <laughs> at 5.45 a.m. It did help me wake up. And then diagonal, work the obliques. You can slow these way down if you need to. They don't have to be as fast or as aerobic. Good job. Come right back. Quick break into child's pose or hands and knees. I was just catching my breath. Come on down and then inhale, upward dog or cobra. Dig the toes in, exhale, downward facing dog. Catch your breath, spread your fingers apart. Inhale, left leg comes up between the hands. We're coming up into our lunge, arms overhead or just in prayer posture. If arms overhead is too much, try to line up your ears with your shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Shoulders are not scrunched up into your ears. They're relaxed, pull the shoulder blades down, pull them together. The front knee is tracking over your second or third toe, not falling inwards to the right. This is good for balance, building a little strength in the legs, core stability, and a chance to breathe after mountain climbers. Bring the hands down, inhale. Bring the legs together, look upwards, Exhale, fold forward, round up, inhale, roll the shoulders back. Good, at this point I am getting water. I usually have my water handy. Take a few short breaks as needed and stay hydrated, especially first thing in the morning if you haven't had a lot of fluids yet for the day. All right, I'm picking lint off my shirt, inhale. Arms up and then sit back into a chair pose. So if you have your arms overhead, do your best to pull your shoulder blades down, anchor those shoulder ball joints into the sockets, squeeze the muscles in the upper and mid back. Sit as low into the squat as you can. Your quads should be on fire. Keep your knees tracking over your arches or heels, not coming out over your toes. Good, neck is nice and long. Now pull your elbows back. If you really wanna challenge, come up onto your toes. I was ambitious. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. I'm balancing on my toes. I'm sitting low. I'm working the heck out of my quads. Try to pull the hands back, fire those external rotators. This looks like a ninja pose. Like a, I don't know, crouching mantis. 
Good, I lost my balance there. That's okay, you just recover. I overcame an Achilles tendonitis, so I like to keep my calves nice and strong. Now bring the arms overhead and then pull them back. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades, working all those good postural muscles. Good, and then come forward, forward fold, walk the knees, inhale, round the spine up, shoulder blades down and back. Good, all right, we're gonna come onto the mat. We're gonna lie on our backs. And we're gonna do a series of V-sits. So arms overhead, legs out, anchor those abdominals, keep your low back flat on the mat, come up, twist side to side, and then slowly lower. There's one. Come up, twist side to side. Now if this is too much, you can keep your knees bent to modify. If you wanna modify even further, just keep your feet on the floor with your knees bent. So you're still using your abdominals, but it will take a lot of pressure off. Make sure anytime you're lying on your back, trying to do abdominal stuff, the phase that you're on your back before you peel up, your low back should be pushed into the mat. Try not to hyper extend. So don't arch your back too far. This is a great core move. So we're coming up and then adding in a twist side to side if you can, working all sections of the abdominals, hip flexors, obliques if you add that twist. This is not easy, my friends. And again, modify by bending your knees and keeping them off the, keeping the feet off the floor or modify further by bending the knees and the feet stay on the floor. Good, I lost count with these. I think I ended up doing 11. I think we have maybe one or two left. Good job, make sure your breathing stays smooth and controlled. I was trying to inhale on the way down. Ooh. I felt that in the abdominals. All right, I guess that was 10 or 11. We're gonna do a bridge. So bring your heels fairly close into your bottom. You're gonna tighten, lock your abdominals. So I'm showing you tilt your pelvis and then lift your hips. I'm adding in fairly advanced moves. If you're comfortable just in a bridge, stay there. If you want more, what I'm doing is alternating knee raises and at the same time, alternating arms. This looks rather crazy, but why I do this, one, I'm working my core. Notice how my pelvis stays level. So if you can't lift one leg without tipping the pelvis to the side, please don't add that yet. But I'm keeping my core tight, pelvis level, and then these crazy arms, elbow straight, alternating arms, almost like the backstroke, that helps mobilize your thoracic spine. So one trap of, of my career is I know all sorts of wonderful exercises and I want to do them all. So I usually try to combine and multitask and I usually make myself sore because I want to do all these good exercises. But thankfully, I know a lot of good stretches too. Good, I did 30 knee raises. I think we're nearing the end. Again, go at your own pace. Make sure you don't tilt the pelvis side to side. Good, we're just holding a bridge and then slowly lower. Nice job. Good, moving on. So we're gonna come back up to standing. I'm fixing my mat. I was sliding, I was trying not to uh, get too close to that bookshelf. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, jump or walk the feet back. Five more push-ups, my friends. Knees down to modify. Four, three, two, one. Good, and then no mountain climbers coming right into upward dog or cobra. Cobra is with the thighs down. And then exhale back into downward dog. Catch your breath. Nice work. 
Inhale, right leg comes up, hands over head, and now we will arch into warrior one. So try to arch from your upper back first. If you notice my spine, I've got a little curve all the way up to the neck. So try not to hinge only from your lumbar. That's where we tend to get hypermobile and that allows the thoracic spine to get stiff. So we wanna to try to take movement equally into all segments of the back. Arms overhead, you can have your hands together, that's a little bit harder, or hands down if you need to. All right, hands come forward, step the feet up together, inhale, look up, exhale, fold, and inhale, round your spine. Arms overhead, exhale, arms down. Inhale again, arms up, Exhale, swan dive forward, jump or walk back. Five more push-ups. We love the push-ups. They're challenging. Keep your back as straight as you can. It's hard, I'm even struggling a little bit. I was getting tired at that point. Good, come on down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Pull the shoulders down and back. And then exhale, downward dog. Now we're going to bring the left foot up. Put the foot between the hands, come up into a lunge, and then if you want the hands together, arch from your upper back first. Try to take some of the backward bend into your upper back, not just your lower back. We don't have as much extension naturally in the thoracic spine. The low back is physiologically able to arch more but we don't wanna lose the extension we do have. And we don't wanna stress the low back by always hinging there. Bring the hands down, feet together, inhale, look up. Getting away from the bookshelf. And then come all the way up. Exhale, palms down. Very good. Another quick water break. Good work, my friends. This is not an easy workout. Modify as needed. Check in, make sure you're feeling okay. Make sure you're at the right place in your mat. We're gonna do another awkward chair. So sit back, you can have your palms together or I'm bringing my arms out side to side. So instead of overhead, we're going straight out to the side, working on the middle trapezius and rhomboid mostly. So you're just trying to pull those shoulder blades together. Check the knees, make sure they're lined up over your arch or heels, not coming over your toes. I'm bringing my arms overhead and coming up onto the toes again. Those are optional. This works the calves, strengthens the calves and Achilles, works on balance. I'm working now the lower traps all your postural muscles. Keep your neck long. Don't arch it, don't look down. Nice straight neutral neck. Good, pulse the arms 10 times. Just little movements. It made me lose my balance, but that's okay, regain it. And now pulse the heels 10 times. Actually, I did five. I was feeling it. I think I only did five heel raises. And again, these are optional. And then pulse the legs. So you're just bending the knees a little more, really setting those quads on fire. Good, whoo, come on up. Feeling the quads. They are our second largest muscle group in the body after the glutes. All right, come on down. Push up position and then plank on elbows. We are holding here for 10 breaths. You can have your knees down to modify. Make sure your elbows are under your shoulders and they're about shoulder width apart. Try to keep a long neck. Try to keep your back straight. If you're going to air one way, it's okay to have your hips up. So if your butt's up a little bit higher, you're doing no harm. You are just modifying it, but try not to let it sag down and arch your back too far. 
20 Spider-Men or Spider-Girl. We're just bringing one knee towards the opposite shoulder to really fire up those obliques. If that's too much, just do 10 or just hold your plank. Again, this is intermediate to advanced. Good, 20 Spider-Men. Come on down into child's pose for a quick stretch after all that. All right, now we're gonna get all of our superheroes included. We did Spider-Man, now we're going to do Superman or Superwoman. So arms overhead, legs straight behind you, tighten your abdominals, and then if you can lift all four limbs, we're gonna hold here, da da da, like we're flying. <laughs> Good, make sure you're not hyperextending your back. Your abdominals should stay a little bit active, protecting your low back, neck is nice and long. When you have back pain, don't avoid working those muscles, but work them gently. So if all you ever do is stretch an area and never strengthen it, that won't help. We're going into some swimming. So this is alternating arm and leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg are lifting a little higher. This is a Pilates movement. And then speed it up a bit. And again, if that's too much, just stay in Superman. You could even modify with the legs down, arms only, and then switch and do the opposite. Good. Now, bring your heels together, thighs off. We're gonna do little heel taps 20 times. So arms down, tapping the heels. Thighs off the ground. This is tough. This will set your glutes on fire. Nice job. And this is also Pilates. Shh, don't tell. This is a yoga workout, but we're stealing a little bit of Pilates stuff. Nice work, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back into child's pose. Stretch all those muscles you just worked. So again, if you have back problems, go at your own pace, be safe, but try to strengthen a little bit. Good job. All right, I'm facing the other way because I was tired of that bookshelf being so close. All right, forward fold. Now inhale, look up, and exhale, jump or walk the feet back. Five more push-ups. I believe this is the second to last round of push-ups. Hang in there. Bend your knees to modify. It's better to modify it and have good technique than to have your form all go south just because you have to do the harder version. So always modify, good. Downward facing dog. Catch your breath. All right, we're gonna bring the right foot up between the hands. Inhale, arms overhead. Touching on warrior one, and now warrior two. So you're gonna turn your back foot out, so left toes face forward. Open your hips, make sure your front knee is tracking over your toes, not falling inwards. Shoulder blades are down and back, your shoulders are relaxed away from your ears, and your gaze, if you can, is out towards your front, your right fingers. My neck didn't turn all the way because I was still pretty fresh out of bed. So just use what range you have. Keep opening the hips. Keep that front knee over the toes. Good work. All right, pinwheel the arms, come on down. Bring the feet together, inhale, look up, exhale, forward fold and inhale all the way up. Good, we gotta do the other side, quick water break. <laughs> I was tired after this workout. This is a good one. All right, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up, exhale, jump or walk back. Five push-ups. you can do it. There may be one more set, but modify. Modify as needed. Good job. And then we will Come down, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Try to push your heels down towards the floor as much as you can. 
Inhale, left leg comes up between the hands. Inhale, arms overhead, lunge, warrior one, and then turn open, warrior two. So right foot turns so the toes face front, and then keep your left knee tracking over your toes, not caving inwards to your right. Arms are relaxed, shoulders down, shoulder blades pulling downwards and backwards. I love this pose. I think this is called Proud Warrior. It does look very proud. Proud Viking warriors. Proud warrior elves. <laughs> Gonna go slay some dragons. Pinwheel those arms. Step the feet together. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down. Inhale, roll up. Nice work. I need to play around and find the best place to film. I was running into the bookshelf on one end and the hutch on the other. Inhale, arms over head. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, face looks up. And exhale, step or jump back. Coming into another plank. So again, knees can be down to modify. You can do a plank up on your hands if you want to. And we're holding 10 breaths. Keep your breathing even. Try to keep the back as straight as you can. Don't arch. And now we're gonna do some hip dips. So these are from a plank and you're just twisting the hip side to side. Don't feel like you have to touch the ground. I don't, because that would be too far for my lumbar spine. But just rotate however far is comfortable so you're bringing one hip down towards the floor and then switching. These are great for your obliques. You can do these from your knees, by the way. Good, quick stretch. And then come on to all fours, my friends. We are gonna really work the glutes. So this is a fire hydrant. Sorry, it's not dignified. We're going to lift your left leg. So keeping the knee and ankle parallel. So just like a doggy <laughs> with a fire hydrant, you know why it's named that. So again, not the most dignified, but super, super core exercise. Try to keep your back as still as you can. The movement's coming from the hip mostly. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And we're doing 20 or as many as you can. You will feel the outside of your buttocks start burning. We will switch. So 20 on the right. And again, movements being led by the hip. The back is only moving to accommodate that range, not twisting from the spine. Keep your shin parallel to the floor on the top. Good. These will strengthen your glutes like crazy. So body weight exercises can be very effective for some strengthening. All right, we got one more glute exercise. This is a donkey kick. So you're keeping your knee bent. You're pushing your heel up towards the ceiling. Try not to arch your back too far. It will go just a little bit, but let the movement happen from your hip. To bulk up, you need to do probably a little bit higher, you know, a little bit of weight um, or, you know, get the, get the more intense body weight stuff. But body weight exercise is great because it is a bit self-limiting. Go ahead and switch in terms of usually your weight's not so heavy that you'll easily injure something by lifting too much. It's more endurance-based strength training, which is good because that builds very functional, lean type one muscle fiber. So the long lean muscle fibers, the slow twitch that can keep going and going. And most of us honestly just need that. We need to be able to shovel snow for two hours or carry in 20 bags of groceries. Um, we need to be able to rearrange for our garage sales. Most of us don't have to lift. 300 pounds in one go. 
So train for what your life requires. Go ahead and sit back into child's pose. Just saying, most of us don't need to be able to lift massive amounts of weight. So some weight training is good, but be realistic about what your everyday goals are and what your function is like. All right, side planks are next, my friends. So come onto your elbow. Keep the elbow under your shoulder. You can come up onto your knees. You can have the top leg extended, or you can have both legs extended, or even lift into a starfish. Good job, you're getting through this brutal workout. And again, modify. None of these exercises should hurt. So there is a difference between muscles starting to fatigue and just saying we're tired versus actual pain. Don't push into actual pain. Good, so either knees or top legs straight or both legs or even extend the top leg. So make sure your elbow is under your shoulder. Don't have it way out in front or way behind because we want to keep your shoulder joints safe. Nice job. Doing the voiceover allows me to just get through the workout and not give you all of the wealth of interesting facts that I like to share. Come on up, my friends. Good job. Roll up. Roll those shoulders. Nice work. Let's get another water break after all that. You are more than halfway through. We've got just maybe another 10 minutes more of hard work, and then we'll do some nice stretching and recovery and cool down. Good job. I think there may be one more set of push-ups coming up, but feel free to modify. Very excited. All right, bring those arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, jump or walk the feet back. Here they are. Second to last set of push-ups. That's right. If you can do five, great. Drop the knees if you need to. Try to keep your back straight. They were getting tough. That's why we do them. Inhale, upward dog. Shoulders down. Exhale, downward dog. All right, inhale. Left leg comes up. We're coming into warrior three. So if you need to leave the hands down, that's fine. Use it as a stretch. Otherwise, you're trying to lift the arms and the left, sorry, the right leg came forward, trying to lift the left leg up. So your back is straight and you're balancing the whole body on just your right leg. Aye, aye, aye. Bend your knee just a little bit. Don't lock it out. If the arms overhead are too much, you can just leave them in prayer posture. Good, come on down. Roll up. Nice job. All right, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, look up. Exhale, jump back. This is your last set. Five push-ups. You can do it. Bend your knees if you need to. We can bend if we want to. Good job. All right, come on down. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We have warrior three now on the left. So we'll put that left leg kind of more towards the middle of the mat. Right foot comes up and then add the arms. Again, that's an option. You can leave one hand touching the floor if you need to, or touch a wall or a chair to help you with balance. This is not easy. This builds a lot of strength in your supporting leg and in your back, your glute, all your postural muscles and balance like crazy. Balance exercises should be slightly difficult so that they're actually working for you. Safe but wobbly. Good. Come on down. We're going to do one more chair pose. <laughs> so hands in prayer position if you want. Nice job. If you're really ambitious, we are going to try one-legged chair. So lift one foot up. And bring it behind you. That is an option. 
I guess I loved Warrior 3 so much that I just really wanted to do more one-legged stuff. Switch legs if you're doing one. Lots of balance training. Just like strengthening your flexibility, balance will improve if you practice. Good. Ten pulses. Really fire those quads. Not fire as in you're fired. Wee! I was excited to be done with all those chairs apparently. Catch your breath, grab a quick drink. We've got just a little bit more work to do, but we are done with push ups, my friends. All right, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, push them down, swan dive. Inhale, look up. And we're just going to roll onto our backs. Good. So we'll do a little more abdominal and core stuff. This is dead bug, so arms and legs overhead. And we're gonna alternate Opposite arm goes down to the floor overhead as your opposite leg extends down. So here, please make sure that your back isn't arching. You should have almost no space between your lower back and the mat. So tighten your abdominals, tilt your pelvis, make sure the abs control. If this is too much and you're losing that position and your back is arching, just do arms or just do legs or bend your knees. And if your coordination sucks, <laughs> keep working at it. If it's too much, just do upper body at it one at a time and then lower body. Good, nice job. All right, tilt the pelvis, push the small of your back flat and come up, let's do another bridge. And if you don't lift this high, that's fine. I'm gonna add and lift one leg, but to make sure you do it safely, the pelvis needs to stay level. So if this is too much, you could just lift one knee and keep your knee bent of the leg that's up. Your support leg should really feel it. In the glute, the hamstring, the thigh. I did 10 breaths here. Make sure that you're not crunching onto your neck, your weights and your shoulder blades. We're gonna switch if you're lifting a leg. So one leg straight overhead, point the toes, or wiggle them and do weird stuff with them. I'm always trying to strengthen my arches. My foot alignment is flat. Normally, I don't have much of a natural arch, but I try to keep my little foot muscles really strong because that does help to keep the foot bones in better alignment. Very good. All right, walk the feet out a little bit. So this is more working hamstrings and we're gonna try opening the knees, keeping the heels together. So if you get pain, if it's too much, just hold a normal bridge. But otherwise, we are opening and closing the legs. I think I did 30. That's my usual number for bridge activities for some reason <laughs> good but do fewer if you need to and again by having the heels further away from your bottom you're working more hamstrings all right go ahead and relax there and then we're coming around coming back up nice work my friends we got just a little bit more to do. Inhale, lift the arms, and exhale, dive forward. Inhale, look up, and exhale, jump or walk the feet back. No push-ups, we're just coming down into Chaturanga or Staff Pose, I believe they call it. Correct me if I'm wrong, we're just holding there and then coming into Upward Dog. Go ahead and curl the toes, come into Downward Dog. Now inhale, right leg comes up, come into your warrior two position, then straighten that front knee, shift your weight to the left, and then bring your right arm down to the leg, 
or a yoga block or the floor. And this is triangle pose. I flipping love this pose, especially after the workout. And we are starting to cool down. So you're done all the really challenging stuff. Try to open the chest. This is such a great rotation. And obviously a huge stretch for your front leg hamstring. And I always feel it in my low back. Especially the right side. True confession, my right leg is a quarter inch shorter than my left. Go ahead and step the feet up. Inhale, look up. And then round the back. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, push them down. Another breath, inhale up and exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Jump the feet back, coming down, chaturanga, holding for a moment. No push ups, so we gotta do something a little challenging. And then upward dog. Curl the toes around, downward dog. You can always put your knees down to transition too. And now we had to do the other side, my friends. So let us bring our left foot between the hands, come up, turn, warrior two, straighten the front leg, bring your weight to the right for a moment and then shift into triangle. Again, left hand can be on the leg, on a yoga block or on the floor. Yes, yeah, so I love this stretch, especially this side. I feel such a great stretch in the right low back, and that's where I'm usually tight again because that right leg is just a little shorter. Most of us aren't symmetrical. A lot of people have just a little eighth of an inch, quarter inch leg length discrepancy, and that's, that's not too bad. If it's much greater than that, you may need a little heel lift in your shoe. Good, bring the arm down, bring the feet back, Lower down, chaturanga, upward dog. And then downward dog, exhale. We are stretching the calves. So push your left heel to the floor. You can lift your right leg a little bit. Push all your weight through the calf. The Achilles shouldn't feel pain, just a nice stretch. Try to hold stretches at least 20 seconds. All right, bring that right leg up and over if you want to, or just opening the hip for a moment. And then bring that right leg forward. Pigeon, this may be as far as you wanna go. If you need a little more stretch, you're just gonna walk the hands forward and lie the chest on the front leg. So this should stretch your right hip oblique, IT band, and piriformis. So a bunch of muscles on the right hip and low back. Very good. We're gonna come on up. Reach for that back foot if you can. If that's too much, use a strap around your ankle or grab your pant leg. So this is stretching your left hip flexor. The quad a little bit, but more so that hip flexor. Nice job, nice deep breaths. Release the foot. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So let's push the right heel down towards the floor. Stretching the calf and Achilles. I lift the opposite leg just to feel that stretch more. I'm tapping my foot because the song, I had some music on for this and it was pretty catchy. <laughs> I was listening to the Celtic station and they had good fiddle and dance music. Bring that left foot overhead, open it up, and then bring that left knee in between the hands. You may wanna stay right there. Feel free also to use a yoga block if you need to. And then if you need more, come forward. So put a yoga block under the hip, it can give you a little more space if you're really tight. I leave music out of these videos, mostly for copyright laws with music. Go ahead and bend 
Stretch that hip flexor so you're bringing your right heel towards your bottom using a strap, your pant leg, or your foot. And also my taste in music is pretty eclectic, so I don't want to drive away potential subscribers <laughs> by playing weird music. I like a lot of world music. I like things from different regions of the world. I like some old, old stuff, 40s. I like Elvis. <laughs> Doing yoga to Elvis songs is always fun, but I won't subject you to that. All right. We will stretch the inner thigh either here, cobbler's pose, bringing the knees down, or you can straddle, open the legs up, almost like into a split, straddle pose, and then you're just carefully hinging from the hips, walking the hands out. So don't force it. This is a really good group of muscles to strain by over stretching. So it should be uncomfortable, but not painful. So pick your stretch accordingly. And I also figure if I don't put music in these videos, you can listen to whatever music you want in the background. Nice job. All right, bring the hands up. We will reach the left arm over towards the right side. Stretching the left side body, so opening the rib from the hip. Nice deep breathing. And we're gonna switch. I probably should have held that side a little longer, so feel free. I don't know if that was quite 20 or 30 seconds. I was anxious to stretch my right side. Again, that's the one that's always tighter. Handedness too, your dominant hand, often people are a little tighter on their dominant side. Good. All right, coming up, carefully bring those legs back up. All right, be careful with this. You've got options, don't overdo it. I'm going to do a whole, um, the full wagon wheel, I believe it's called the wheel pose, but feel free just to hold a bridge and kind of stretch your hip flexors right there. If you've done this before and you're confident, be careful. You're gonna put your hands flat, tighten your stomach muscles, lock them first, and then come up into a wheel pose or back bend. So notice I've got a lot of curve in my mid back, which is good. We're trying to open up the thoracic spine. I'm not hinging right at the low back because my abs stay tight. And I think there's a yoga term that uh, starts with a B, bandha or something. But if you research it, they talk about locking those low abs to protect your spine. So make sure you have no pain in this pose. It'll be a massive stretch, but if it hurts, back off and just hold your bridge. This is a great chest opener too. Good, all right, carefully wiggle your way out of that. Come back down, bring the knees up, drop them to one side. You can put a hand there to hold the knees and then open towards your right arm. So nice rotation. I love to do these little rotations right after that back bend. Don't force it, but if you get pops and clicks naturally, that's okay, you're just mobilizing. Good, bring the knees up, drop them to the other side. Left arm stays out straight. Beautiful rotation stretch for the low back and thoracic. Nice deep breaths, my friends. Good work. We have just a few more stretches to do. All right. I felt a lot better at that point, a lot more awake, a lot looser. All right, I'm gonna roll my mat. We're gonna do a kneeling quad stretch. So you put your right foot in front and we're gonna bend the left knee. That's why I'm kneeling on something that's soft. Tighten your abdominals, pelvic tilt. This should give you a really good stretch down your left quad. Good job. 
So if this is too much, feel free to do a standing quad stretch. Just make sure you keep the knees parallel, get that nice pelvic tilt. You could do it side lying, lots of quad stretch options. I love this one. You don't have to fight too hard for your balance because your knee is planted and you've got two points of contact with the ground. So everything can relax and really stretch. Let's switch, put your left foot in. <laughs> put your left foot out. Put your left foot in and shake it all about. I'm gonna tell you a horrible pun. I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. <laughs> When I taught live fitness classes, I would usually end them with a terrible punny joke. And I think my people liked it because I actually, one of them gave me a present once a book of, you know, stupid clean jokes. Either that or she was hoping I'd get some new ones. <laughs> Could have been the case. All right, come on up. We're going to stretch the pure formus. So figure four stretch. If this is too much, sit on the edge of a chair and do this. But if you feel like a little more balance, put your right heel or either side first on your opposite thigh, and then you're sitting back into a chair pose. And again, if you're like, oh, I just finished working out, I'm tired, I don't want to balance anymore, sit on the edge of a chair and do the same thing. Should feel the stretch in your hip, deep in the hip. And we will switch, my friends. So left foot onto right thigh or the other way, whatever you did first. Very good job. You got a good workout in today. All body weight, you only needed a mat. Good, quick stretch for the neck and shoulder. Put your right hand onto your right shoulder blade. If you need more, your left hand gently pulls it away. So it should open up the space between the top of your shoulder blade right up to the base of the skull. Good job, and let's switch. After this stretch, the voice over will end, and I will say a few closing remarks. Very good job, my friends. Awesome. All right. Roll the shoulders, bring the arms overhead, feel the difference. You should hopefully feel much better now than at the start of the workout. Whew, thank you, my friends, for joining me for this 50-minute power yoga and core workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like these videos, please subscribe. My goal is to bring you at least two new ones per month, all sorts of disciplines I'm looking to make. Um, some hit high intensity interval training workouts, some more yoga, some Pilates, more belly dance. So let me know in a comment what type of workout you would like to see more of and what level and how long a video. I want to make these accessible for as many different types of exercisers as there are out there. You can get healthier, you can improve your fitness and your quality of life wherever you're at. No matter what level, what condition, what age, you can always do something. So God bless you, my friends. Thank you very much. This is Galzira Fitness signing out. Be well.